so here we are now uh, I already completed the setting up of the circuit I hook up also to the uh, oscilloscope so here this is our uh, AC uh, pulsating DC from our uh, transformer so from here this is it of our transformer we will have an output of this uh, pulsating DC now it then it goes to our first the stage of comparator so that we can have an output of this uh, uh, zero voltage crossing detector and then this one we feed this one again to another uh, comparator so that we can have an output of the square wave here the square wave and then uh, we feed this one to a uh, sorted uh, generator circuit so this one we feed this one to this uh, capacitor so we able to get this uh, sorted and then we feed it to the last comparator so that we can get the uh, pulses going to uh, trigger our ECR so here it is now we have our uh, AC or the parasitic DC this is our uh, zero voltage crossing detector and then the spin trace this is our square wave so that is the complete opposite of this uh, zero voltage crossing you see here is zero here we can maximum here you have max uh, output of this zero voltage crossing here you have zero so that is the complete opposite of that and this is our triangular wave so from here we are going to compare this one with some voltage level so that we can get a triggering uh, pulses going to our ECR so I'm going to transfer this uh, trace now to the output to the uh, gate signal no not this one the yellow trace the yellow trace I'm going to transfer so that the uh, pulsating DC will be gone now I'm going to remove this so, and then I'm going to transfer this one to the trigger is your trigger now so we have that much of triggering now so if I'm going to make it zero I can make it zero trigger zero output to our results zero there's no trigger to our ECR. If I give see if I give it small trigger it will trigger and our ECR to hundred percent. So I can trigger from zero to hundred percent. Okay I will be put back the AC of this one. I will use the other trace. I will use the uh, this square wave trace. I remove this one, so our pink trace will be gone. And then I'll put this one to our AC, so that we can see. So now here. just this one okay we will trigger some output to our easier so here so this very small output going to is a C look at that of so that is very small amount of power just before the end the beginning of the zero voltage crossing so we will increase that so we keep higher output bigger power see look at that if you are going to compare that one compare that one to the ac that power so if for example we are going to trigger about 50% of the power so you'll trigger from here or if you get three to trigger zero so that is zero 
how do you give to you we are going to increase so look at that look at that one if I'm going to increase you will have an increase also of the power delivered to your load so let's try this one having a load and then you will see also the waveform with the uh, AC pure AC waveform so this is our lamp now the compact fluorescent lamp so I'm going to increase the trigger if I trigger this one see the lamp will glow up hmm. very very uh, I put on the very very small power on that see the scope also if I increase the power see and light also will glow so if I am going to decrease that one here so here in the scope also you can barely see the the output of the trigger see that one very very small amount of power so that is almost zero and if I'm going to increase that one here I switch off I'm going to increase so here that is much power delivered here down see that one very small only so the light also is barely lighting up so we'll s we will increase it gradually so the light increases now so the power also oh, that is about three fourth of the power they increase more that is hundred percent so this is hundred percent light now I reduce I reduce the power I reduce the power so the light also starts to glow to correct I increase now I'm going to reduce you will notice the light of the surrounding affected and then we will check the output of this one using the voltmeter so we will continue this is now our 220 volts supply so this is the supply 220 volts so this is the power delivered to our load you can see it there so you can see it from there and we will make it careful here this is high voltage I will make it zero so the light you can see the light from the reflection also it's flickering so that is so I'll make it zero I can make it zero increase so that is now 15 volts AC I'm going to increase now I'm going to increase now so at the moment the voltage is about 50 volts the light starts to Flicker. I will increase now. See the light glow 90 watts, 128, 130, 140, 200, 237. So that is our maximum. 
this is the power okay so so that is our experiment for today hope you learn a lot from that so I need your comments also so that I will know if I'm doing the right way I'm doing the good circuit if anything you wish so that we can improve the circuit so just give me um, the comments and that's all so just keep on creating creating something in electronics and we will be participating in the uh, evolution okay thank you have a nice day